Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Sacred Guardian. Welcome back to Shrift EX4. I'm sorry it's been at least like a month since I've posted anything, but as I said before uh, to a couple of people in the comments, I'm my work schedule is has had me completely floored and I'm dealing with personal matters that I'm trying to take care of, but I still intend on trying to be able to get content out of you guys, so don't worry, I'm not going anywhere, I'm not quitting, I'm not leaving YouTube or anything like that, I, I didn't get cancelled, but on the last episode, uh, we ended up running into a monster girl, the, sl uh, the high slug, who gave Kazuya a bit of a bit of trouble, but we end up pulling through thanks to the help of our little uh, kitty cat friend here. So I don't think I can make anything, can I? I think we're just gonna like hide out until we can be able to move on. I have no idea what anything is gonna fight me with, so I'm gonna use the rear mark proto. So I don't think I'm gonna have to yeah deal with anything. Um. Somebody told me I should equip the crushing death fang because apparently with everything that's going to be going on, this will help me out a lot better than using my guns. Which is a little weird to me, but I'm going to take their word for it. Go ahead and put it on. Ooh, and that gives me a health boost too, so that would actually be very helpful. Okay, um... Go ahead and make some tea. Okay. Hey, what's up? Resign yourself to what's going to happen and sit next to her. What do you mean resign myself to what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? I see. So the title Sovereign was given to you by the Demon Realm. That's a pretty respectable position to have. And the person in charge of protecting the area is called the Chief, and they're what you call... What you could call your boss. <sighs> That's right, and as Sovereign, I'm one of those responsible for leading demons and maintaining demon-related public order. But there was a lot of discontent when I was picked for the job. A lot of demons thought it was outrageous to give such a position to a Nikomata like me with an unknown background. I mean, even like yeah, that would that's understandable. But if you're do already doing a good job, then you don't have to worry about what they say. Then I started resolving all sorts of incidents after battling bad demons with everyone's support. I started to naturally gain their approval. Hey, there you go. You end up getting promoted to sovereign, and look, you're already making a good making a good reputation for yourself. So, did you say you were a devil hunter? I actually know a devil hunter myself. She's a really nice girl. I think it's amazing you've even got your own office. And those demons you're living with sound like so much fun. Oh yeah, like you should see uh, my wife Tatana Boa when we get together. Like she's, uh, she's a lot of fun. Hey, hey, Kazuya. I want to hear how you met all those girls. <laughs> Yami is grabbing onto Kazuya's arm with both hands while casually rubbing her chest against him. Uh, that's... well, um... Uh, uh, <laughs> I've got to calm down. No matter how harmless she might appear to be, I've got to consider the situation. This is exactly what White Rabbit was talking about. By the way, you mentioned a few others you know. So does that mean there are others here for helping you protect the shrine? I've been curious about you as well. Like, what would you normally do with your time here in the shrine? I wouldn't say they help me, they're more like my friends, I guess. Like Tommy, and Samire, and Kisagi-sun in the void. In the void. Samire, hold on, Samire. Is that a character name I should know? Mm. It's because I have everyone's support that I can do my best. Sometimes really powerful enemies appear, or there's, no prob there's a problem in my way that's not easy to deal with. But as long as I have everyone here with me, I can manage. Also, though I said the shrine is abandoned, that doesn't mean people never come here. I get people turning up here on tests of courage or even just casually wandering in. 
I love people even when I'm in my kitten form. Thanks to all the intense energy training I've done, I can get human energy just by having them touch me. Just by having them touch you? You mean while you're a kitten? That's right. Just like when humans pet cats. By having them play with me for two or three minutes like any other cat, I can get a few weeks worth of energy for materializing. Oh! That's useful. So, I can literally just pet you now, and you'll be able to get like a few weeks worth. The amount I get is tiny, but it's enough for me to be active. But if I have someone to play with like other demons do, then I can get a lot more energetic. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So, Kazuya-kun, don't be embarrassed, you can touch me all over if you want. Ah, uh, the music's gone. Oh, I know what that means. Do I have to censor stuff? Let me feel more of you. Think of me like a big cat and run your hands over my body. Uh, um, crap. Was that topic a bad idea? Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, Kazuya's being pinned down by Yami. Someone's awake. It's so strange. I have this burning desire to attack you for some reason. And it has nothing to do with your energy or magic power. Yeah, it's just her demon instincts kicking in. Oh, boy. Hey, Kazuya-kun, is this really the first time we've met? It's like looking at your face makes me so ha feel so happy. It's just your imagination. Just imagining things, Yami-chan. But stop! Don't rub against my face! If you keep going, my mind's gonna... Uh, uh, no thoughts, head empty, just like Sphinx. <laughs> that voice just now, saved by the bell. <laughs> or the howl, in this case. I'm saved. What are you talking about saved? That voice was obviously the sign of a yet another strange, yet another strange situation developing. And it sounds like there's more than one. Let's go take a look outside, Kazuya-kun. The main shrine building is going to get surrounded at this rate. Oh boy. Alright. Do I go out this way or... What was that? This is bad. They're probably planning on destroying the entire building with magic. At the very least, this reduces the probability that they're allies. And if they're attacking without warning... That must mean they already know we're in here, so there's no point in taking the stealthy approach. Looks like we have no choice but to go out the front door. We're gonna, if we're going to get spotted trying to be quiet anyway, we might as well save ourselves a lot of time by meeting them head on. So instead, let's brace ourselves for what's out there and head out. Given what we know so far, there's almost certainly a fight waiting for us. Oof. Do I have anything else I can prepare myself with? Um... I think there's anything else I can be able to use. Like, better safe than sorry that anything could happen. And I can't power myself up before fight, so... Let's go. Strange presence can be felt outside. Leave the building. Yes. Hello. Hey, wait, I recognize that sprite. And I recognize you. There you are. I was tricking holding myself back so I didn't destroy the shrine. So you really did me a favor by coming out yourselves. Okay, so for some of you guys who don't know, it, um, the crossover that is happening is between Shrift, Monster Girl Quest, and a game called Super Monsters and Girls. Uh, this is a character from Super Monsters and Girls. Now, the thing is that I don't know if it's one of the random enemies or if it was somebody that was actually important. I think it was one of the random enemies, but I can't remember. Charlene the Roof is a girl with wings on her back. Judging by her clothing and atmosphere around her, she looks like she's some kind of vampire. Eventually, I will play Super Monsters and Girls for the channel. There is a lot of stuff that I have to play for the channel, and... God, my list just keeps growing. <laughs> I want to get off the ride. 
actually take a break <laughs> from Monster Girl Quest and stuff one day. Or any Monster Girl related stuff, but it's so much fun. Uh, I've like trapped myself in a spiral because of all the stuff that I have to and want to cover. Because some of these games are so obscure, even though they have like a veritable fan base. It just feels like the, it's somehow still not getting enough attention, and I wanted to get more attention. But holy crap, like the list just goes on and on. I still have to go back to Succubus Crest eventually because I know the um, creator wants me to cover that still. I still gotta see what updates there are. Either way, the intimidating aura her strange magic is giving off definitely proves she's no human. Who are you? My name is Basil Basilica. A descendant of the Vampire Clan. Oh, she, she must be talking like with the, like Dracula. A descendant of the Vampire Clan. You're that Kazuya the twins spoke of, aren't you? <laughs> you look like you're an excellent specimen. Vampire? Isn't it supposed to be Vampire? Uh, maybe it's a different species. No, she's talking Transylvanian, Yami. Get with the program. I thought for sure she was a vampire going by the way she carries herself and how powerful her magic seems to be. Don't lump me in with that lot. How rude of you for, for, rude for that to be the first thing to come out of your mouth, you brat. Blur. One day my race will be the most famous as, they, as famous as theirs. Just you wait. I'll free us from being seen as nothing more than vampire knockoffs. Her voice just squeaked. Wait, so she actually is a vampire knockoff? <laughs> it seems this is a touchy subject for her. I'll avoid getting her too worked up and just leave it at that. You said something before about twins. Are you assassins from another world tasked by Abaddon to come attack us? Exactly. There's no. It's not like I trust those weirdos, but it's a different story if we're talking about attacking humans. All the humans of this world are the playthings of demon kind, and you, Kazuga, are no exception. Not now that I found you. <laughs> but first, I'll test your strength. Come, black dog. It's time to play with that human. <laughs> I'm having too much fun. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. I censored this. Good. <laughs> oh boy. But I remember now. The period at the same time as the van as the vampires, Shout was a demon dog-like demon casting a large black silhouette. The tips of what appeared to be its hair glittering with gold a golden hue. With ragged breasts, it seems to be assessing the situation before deciding what to do as its two large breasts lay slowly. Black dog? How did you get a hellhound from the demon realm to obey you without the demon king's authority? Ah, it's a hellhound, okay. Uh, so we got the red wolf of Radigan. This one must be the black wolf of the demon king. Don't underestimate me. It's child's play to bend one or two to my will. Not to worry. The black dogs of my world aren't flesh hungry, guarding, hell guarding monsters. I think you know what I'm getting at. No way. Yep. Okay, so this is a bar guest situation. Where is bar guest in this? I feel like she would get intent, like incredibly jealous and try to jump in the fight. Black Dog's breathing has become even more ragged. Looks like my expectations were right on the money. Now, show me what you've got, Kazuya. I'll have you thoroughly prove to me whether you're worthy of my attentions. Here, I'm gonna have to stop that voice. It's it's too difficult for me to be able to keep up without getting ready to laugh. Here comes Kazuya. Okay. Well. Okay, so I just gotta fight, I guess. Wait. Just in case. Is luring you in. This move is suicide. She's not luring me in, so. This 
is actually being this is actually helpful. This is good. Right, we can get through this. I've been able to inflict heavy damage on my opponent with Yami's support. Black Dolvix is back backing off. Hmm. <laughs> You've done better than I thought you would. So that's why I was called here. But don't think that level of power will be enough. The attacks of her and her brethren aren't over yet. Be careful, Kazuya. I can sense more of them. Yeah, I figured it wouldn't be that easy. Oh. What? You seem surprised. Did you really think that was all you had to fear from Black Dog? What strikes fear in the hearts of mortals is their proclivity for traveling in packs when hunting. You'll have to watch your flanks more carefully next time you face one. Or should be surrounded before you even realize what's happening. Well, assuming there is a next time for you. What do we do, Kazuya? Only thing we can do. Fight. We'll have to focus on one side and cut our way through. Let me deal with the other black dogs. I'll take any hits directed at you. Oh god. <laughs> Rush battle. Rush battles are special fights where you take on multiple enemies at once. The way to win is to attack enemies and reduce their rush gauge at the top. Top screen is zero. Damage dealt to enemies will reduce the rush gauge depending on the amount dealt. The number of attacks you think has no influence on how much to reduce and neither do crits. Enemies will not attempt to pin you during these battles, but will inflict status effects such as exhaustion and weakness. Ending a turn while a status effect is active will increase the rush gauge. Oh. You will be defeated if the rush gauge is maxed out. The rush gauge will only ever increase at the end of a turn, so if it reaches zero before the turn ends, you win. However, you're still at risk of getting the day status as normal, so your lust root bar reaches 100. Shh. One eye on each bar, you gotta be kidding me. That's a good explanation. No thanks. Oh boy. Damn, Yami is dealing with the other black dogs surrounding us. There's an abnormal number of them in front of me as well. This is more than one person can handle. I couldn't find an opening to attack High Slug Girl. But with all these black dogs, I wouldn't have the chance to attack even if I did. If I overextend myself, I'll end up completely surrounded in moments. Kazikun, are you okay? Yeah, more or less. There's too many. If this keeps up... What? I... I recognize that sound immediately. Hey, baby, how's it going? Whoa, you gave me a fright. Where do you keep popping out from? Huh? Was I just a little too slow? Then again, if you're still in one piece, that answers that question. Sorry for the wait. I'm all done with the preparations. All that's left is to wait for a response from them. But then, I wonder if it'll work. The gap in the window might be too small. I wonder if they'll notice. Window? What are you talking about? Honey, sweetheart, please. Five. Draw party. Da, 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 da. Wait, what, what are you doing all of a sudden? You're freaking me out. I couldn't even read all of that. Watch out, Kazuya. Don't take your eyes off the black dogs. They're about to attack again. What the hell's going on? Is this my fault? What was that? Text scriptures. Four. Or it might be counting down to something, Kazukun. Wait, really? The robotic voice she's putting on and her lack of response made me think she was broken. I can't be absolutely sure, but it sounds like we need to hold out until the countdown's finished. We get some kind of opening. I'm not really sure about this, but let's try. It's all we can do either way. Oh, that's not good. That is, ooh, that is not good. Anything else 
Perhaps that's the only safety not guaranteed. Oh, I think I think I might be. I'm screwed. I think. That's weak as thunder with me right there. Three. The class ID on it. I think I'm screwed. I think I'm screwed. Unless you're da 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 Zero. What's happening? Death Sword Chaos stuff. <gasps> Let's go! I know that! Yo, let's fucking go! Oh, and Alice too! What? What happened? Oh, that's so cool! Oh, they're both here! Oh, give me... Oh, hang on a second. Oh, that's so cool! Al and Alice came along with... What happened? Who are you? One of the main guests of the tea party has arrived. Hell yeah. And what an entrance. He's a great fighter, but utterly weak to temptation. He's the adventuring monster meal, the fake hero Luca. Huh? K Kazuya? Huh? What? How do you know my name? Have we met before? Huh? White Rabbit? So you were the one responsible for that blurb back there. What are you playing at? Okay, so she's in lolly form still. Okay, so this must be when Luca already met him in uh, in the uh, collab. Hold on, hold on. Explanations can wait. You should be more worried about dealing with the situation right now. These girls surrounding us don't seem like the patient type, so let's focus on scattering them before doing anything else. Oh, jeez. So it is okay for... Is it okay for me to assume you'll be fighting alongside me as an ally? P probably. We don't have the time to think about this, Kazuya-kun. Here they come. Oh, boy. Alright, we got Luca on our side now. This is good. Oh, boy. My loss is still high. HP 100% SP. Oh. Yeah, let me do that. Attack hero skills. Oh! Coming wind and light damage on the party. Stun. Immunity to ecstasy. Hmm. Shadow honed energy. Doesn't use a turn. Focus. Covers two SP each turn for three turns. Hmm. No type damage to an enemy five times. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go. What 
the frig? Am I just gonna steamroll him? Is this seriously happening right now? The pie's an attack and agility debuff. Nice. Nice. Ugh. Amazing. Black Dog has clearly lost their, her will to fight. Being pushed back and failing to achieve what was a certain victory has her shaken. Yami was mostly able to hold them back behind me, but this boy is unbelievably strong. Even surrounded by enemies, he kept his cool and fought as if battle hard. You managed to create an opening in front of us, Kazuya-kun. Let's use this chance to fall back. Right. Are you running away? I told you not to underestimate me. Shit. No way. There's still more? There's a lot more where those came from. These ones are being used to test your strength, so I've got the majority of them on standby. I was a little surprised to see you get reinforcements, but the black dogs aren't scared at all. Just how long can you keep up your attacks, I wonder? Perhaps sensing our fear, the Black Dog is slowly regaining her will to fight. The other Black Dogs are also getting ready to pounce. Angel powers? Damn it. That's true. It's, it's true that the situation is getting worse and worse for us. We can't afford to reckless, fight recklessly if we don't know how many of them there actually are. Isn't there anything we can do? Kazuya kun, Kazuya kun. This is, there is, this is pretty random, but Black Dogs are a kind of hellhound. Right? This isn't the time for that! Hellhounds are all are known as the so-called hunting dogs of the demon realm. Some famous ones are Cerberus, Orthrus, and Harry Jack. Harry Jack? Wait, who the hell is Harry Jack? I gotta look this up. Oh Harry Jack is another name for Barguest. In our demon realm, hellhounds who obey the demon king's authority will only obey those of equal strength, using any other method to control the rest being attacked. Oh, right. Yamachan wondered before how she was able to get them to obey without the authority of a demon king. That's right. It's strange, huh? Just how exactly is she making them obey her when she obviously doesn't have the demon king rank in her lineage? Also, you've already made the acquaintance of a hellhound, Kazuya-kun. Not only that, but you've already got her to obey you. She goes by the name of Barguest. <laughs> so that's it. <laughs> I'm starving. Speaking of which, isn't it about time for lunch? That explains why I'm so hungry. <laughs> what? What is happening? Kazuya-kun? What are you saying at a time like this? Please, explain to me. I'm actually confused, too. I made sure to bring something for lunch, but what about all you black dogs? Come on now, you can't fight on an empty stomach. Unless, of course, someone's promised to give you all some food. Oh. <laughs> what? You're all getting demon, demon realm meat once you've dealt with him. We agreed I'd give you five pieces each, didn't we? Five pieces? That's quite a feast, you promised. But didn't you say there were a lot more black dogs on standby? There isn't much demon realm meat to around. It doesn't keep more long, so you have to go pretty high to pretty high class places to get it. Do you really have the money to buy enough for all of them? Well, that's... Hey, wait! Don't climb up here! It's gonna break! It'll break! Stop it! Don't pull my skirt! You're drooling on it! Do you have any idea who made this? This is the finest silk in all of hell! <laughs> Beaten like this. Don't you forget, I'll definitely get you next time! <laughs> oh, that is funny. That's funny. Oh. I'm so glad I found out about this game so long ago. Oh, it was hell just to be able to try to get through it. 
Oh, but I'm loving every second. Basilica fled to the back of the shrine with a crowd of black dogs in pursuit. Ooh, nicely done, Kazuya-kun. Though you only had a small opening back there, you managed to use it to drive them all away. It's only because Bargas can be bribed to help with Demon Realm meat as well. I'm glad I managed to think of it in the end. Because of the situation, my mind was all over the place. I just started babbling and blabbering. What are you plotting, White Rabbit? Where the hell have you led us? Hmm? Oh, you came as well, Alice. I was trying to sneakily call just Luca into this space. Yeah, you're not going- he's not going anywhere without her. <laughs> what did you say? What do you mean, call Luca into this space? And where is this place anyway? Okay, the fact that Alice is alongside Luca, and this is Luca being pulled from Paradox, means that Luca is supposed to be with Alice in Paradox, as opposed to choosing Ilias. Even though some folks have also said that choosing Ilias is the canon route for Paradox. If we're trying to go along with the original timeline, which is what is supposed to be done to try to, you know, avert chaos being spread, Alice is the main ch actual choice. Uh, also, why is Kazuya here? I thought he was in the pocket castle with me. P pocket castle? Sorry, I don't know how you know my name, but I think this is the first time we've met. Ah, that's right. You two are on the same timeline as me, so you could say that Kaz Kazuya couldn't hear is the Kazuya of this timeline. Okay, I'll give you guys a simple explanation of this space and the situation will yeah, while we cool down from the battle. Normally, I wouldn't be wasting time on these early explanations, but the situation being what it is, I need to be clear on what's happening, what the plan is, or Luca might be wary of helping. <clears throat> oh boy, I see. So there's a version of me who got lost in your world is now fighting together with you? I was confused because I didn't even know your names, yet you were talking like you knew me. Hearing all that, I get it now. I was surprised too. Despite looking identical, you're a whole different person from the Kazuya I know. He's the exact same person. <laughs> Alice would be that. <laughs> Alice would be that woman that you show the like the two pictures. And it's just like, they had the same picture. <laughs> but still, a world where demons rule. When I look at one like Yami or whatever her name is, I don't get the sense that she's particularly different from monsters. I can't say for sure since I've only just come from a parallel world, but it seems each world that exists is slightly different, with all sorts of varieties of non-humans in them. Well, I do look pretty similar to humans, but if we're talking about things covered in tentacles or mostly monster animal in appearance, then your world might not be too different from ours. But it seems you guys are quite different to us demons in terms of ecology. How very strange. Like that slug girl from before talking about reproduction. So, um, so, I appreciate White Rabbit filling us in on everything. You guys mind if I call you Luka-kun and Alison? Let's see, the hero Luka and the monster lord Alice, right? It's a pretty odd pairing to see traveling together. Yes, just like the hero Heinrich and monster lord Alice Tremeria. To be exact, I'm Alephi's Fate Burn the, seven, uh, the 16th, but I don't mind you mind if you call me Alice. I've been traveling together and faced a lot of situations with this fake hero and white rabbit in order to solve an irregularity in our own world. Fake hero? The Queen of Dreams was the cause of Kazuya, or rather the other Kazuya, getting lost in our world. We made a plan to defeat him... Defeat him and prepared for a final battle. Defeat her and prepared for a final battle. Then after we'd reached a certain point in our strategy meeting, we went to our own rooms for the night. Then as we were going back, Lucas spotted something strange. It was a weird mist or something, and a blurry Oni just a little shorter than me suddenly appeared out in front of me. Then some kind of image appeared inside the mist. It was incredibly blurry, but we could see you two being attacked by a large number of monsters. An Oni? I said it might be a trap and that we should call the others in the castle first, but this guy's the type to not leave things be, so he charged into the mist without thinking of the consequences. 
And since I didn't want anything to happen to Luca, I quickly followed him into the mist. And the rest you already know. That Cheshire. Did she assume I'd get involved? Was her objective simply to bolster battle power? Or maybe... Choosing the timeline without that goddess. I didn't have to after all. Oh! Wait! Wait a minute. So, choose the timeline without that goddess. Wait, so he chose... Cheshire chose the timeline where... Luca was impaired? Okay, so... It, clearly it's going off the fact that as if Alice was the one chosen by literally everybody uh, upon the, the time he meets Kazuya. So, so that means that we could have gotten a Luca who was traveling with Ilias instead? Is there a reason why Cheshire chose that? Like, what would have happened if Ilias got pulled over here instead? Hmm. Oi, White Rabbit, stop muttering with your back turned to us. It's creepy. Based on your words and, act words and actions so far, it seems that Miss really was your doing, wasn't it? Just what are you up to? You're half right and half wrong. I was the one who coordinated to ensure the Miss would appear in front of Luca, but the Miss itself is the creation of Cheshire. I wouldn't have the power to go behind the back of the Queen of Dreams so perfectly and create such an outrageous wormhole. This barrier is also something I created together with her. Speaking of which, wasn't the whole irregularity with our world caused by your mistake being taken advantage of by the Queen of Dreams, allowing her to zero in on this? Is that right? Both Luca and I are already at our wit's end with the situation in our own world. We don't have the time to help save another one. You of all people should know that. The Land of Night isn't the worst of our problems either. We've been track racking our brains over how we should deal with the threat of the world collapsing too. I'm afraid you can't go back. If you leave this world to its fate, something horrendous will happen that will mean everything will have been for nothing. Also, don't worry about time. I've made Cheshire take every precaution so that this doesn't have any effect on Luca's timeline. I asked her to ensure that when you both return to your own timeline, that you emerge at the very same moment you left. In other words, you'll return at the exact moment you entered. So what you're saying is, no matter how much time we spend here, time will have stayed frozen in our own world until we return? You can do that? Amazing. That's the authority of Cheshire, or rather, the Mad Hatter, holds. Don't tell anybody I just called her that. She can temporarily expand the power of intervention to worlds that are connected with Abaddon. Normally the creation of a wormhole that defies time and space is something that would be questionable even for an administrator. But it's something she can do right now. At least we won't have a situation where Luca is absent and we're overdue for a mission, or we're going into a decisive battle without a break. The help I'm providing Kazuya is connected to your world as well, you know. If we do nothing, then this world will cease to exist. And it won't just end with just Kazuya's world. Many other parallel worlds will also be affected, causing huge incidents. This isn't just someone else's problem. To think you'd have that kind of look on your face. Hurry up and tell- Oh, wait, oh! Oh, what is happening? This is bad. They even found us here. What the hell's that? A hole in space-time? Don't tell me that's- That phenomenon. It's chaos. Oh. It's spreading? The area around the hole is bugging out. I couldn't even finish reading everything. Quickly, we have to run. Don't worry, calm down. The barrier was specific, specially made to deal with this. We factored being noticed by Abaddon into the plan. The space was designed with lots of twists and turns to make it hard to access. Someone manages to override that, the many layers we've set up in advance to quickly lose the ability to find their way back out. What? Oh. With this, we shouldn't have to worry about him for a while. Let's sneak out to find the next guest before he can trace. Oh. Seriously? What? Oh. Run! Okay, never mind, Abaddon broke the barrier! Leaving us behind like that! Kazukun, let's run too! I don't know what that is, but it's bad news if it catches us! Oh, Lord. 
Hurry, come on! If you're caught up, if you're caught up in that feeding, it's all over. We're li we'll likely be tail, but there's no choice. Jump through this gate. Feeding? Hold on, this is Abaddon's doing. It's such a bright color. Is it really safe to jump into this? Holy crap! <laughs> I I legit thought that like the screen broke somehow, and I was I was gonna be concerned. What are you planning? Where are you planning on taking us this time? Plus, that earlier space time destruction looked just like. No, oh, jeez. I don't have time to explain all that right now. For now, just jump in here quickly, quickly. Kazukun. Oh, there's no helping it. Let's all jump together. Yamichan, hold on tight. Oh boy. Oh, where are we going? I have no idea where we're going. Oh. Why am I in school? <sighs> Should work for now. At the very least, he doesn't seem to be able to chase us directly. That was unnerving. Ugh, I landed butt first. Yami-chan, when did you start hugging me from the front? Sorry, it seems I held on too tight. Oh boy. Don't use a panic as an excuse to flirt. Oh boy. This is... a school? A school of this world. The atmosphere does feel similar to those sem seminaries and wizarding academies I saw, huh? That being said, let alone people, I can't sense any life here at all. Tools and paper are strewn over the floor, too. Are these places usually so messy? No. This situation is definitely abnormal. It's as if they fled in a mass panic. Hmm. And judging from this atmosphere, we're in the real world, not in a barrier like earlier. Which means the people here really did flee. <laughs> That's possible. Even in, in the earlier barrier, that high slug ambushed us. It's likely Abaddon's assassins came to this world too. Kazuya-kun. Let's check the situation outside this room. There may be people who failed to get away. As Sovereign, I can't let that happen. Alice? We're already on this ship. We can't stop now. White Rabbit's earlier attitude was different, too. She doesn't seem to be screwing with us now. Basically, if we defeat Abaddon, the situation will settle down, right? And for that, we need to go to the Cheshire's tea party and hear the full story there. Exactly. But first, we need to pick up our guests, like you and Yami-chan, from each world. Kazuya-kun and Luka are strong, but with just that, we'll never defeat Abaddon. Our only chance is with all of the guests together. This isn't me worrying about nothing, or just overly cautious at the with the party size. This will be the bare minimum for challenging that thing. Cheshire and I have the same opinion on this. And so, this is one of those worlds, huh? If we have to get all of the guests, there's no helping it. Let's start searching soon. Hmm? That's rather docile of you, Alice. You're not gonna hound me for answers like usual? Don't take this the wrong way. I'm not trusting you. It just seems meeting Cheshire would be better. The ringleader gathering us all together, right? In that case, I can at least wait to get the full picture at that tea party or whatever. It sure beats trying to force the in info out of you. After what happened earlier, I'm neither oblivious nor stupid enough to demand our return now. There's no point in returning unless we fix this problem first, right? That's how it is, Kazuya. Luke and I will be helping you out for a while. At any rate, we can't just ignore those who need help. That includes whoever was here. Let's go, Kazuya. <laughs> Same to you. Maybe we got such strong allies. Whew! I tried to hide it, but I was flummoxed earlier with what White Rabbit was saying. A massive incident that involves all worlds. Left alone, the world will be destroyed. Yami's world and even Luca's and Alice's, all riddled with holes by Abaddon's massive assault. All these absurd developments coming one after the other. What on earth are the twins? Is Abaddon trying to do? Luca joins you as a party member, Alice and Yami join you as support partners. Nice. Okay. Oh boy. Revival drink. Oh. Level one, level one. 
custom sword, custom made sword for Luca to suit his frame and fighting style. Can I give him anything? Technique conversion. Converts 100 vitality to 1 SP during battle to use for his hero skills. Hmm. Really now? Inner focus mind. Oh, that's what it's supposed to be. Inner focus mind. It said something else earlier. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, this is nuts. Oh, this is insane. So is Abaddon like spread? Is Abaddon, if this is the case, okay, let's think about this for a second. I know this is supposed to be a collaborative effort, but let's think about this. Is it possible that maybe everything going on in Shrift in Paradox and I think one other game There's a collab for three charms, so maybe also in three charms as well. All of this is connected to Abaddon. All of this is connected to Abaddon. And Abaddon is the actual true... Well, no, not just... Hmm. I, I, I want to say that maybe... Abaddon could be a creation of Chaos Goddess... Black Alice and she sent Abaddon off to Kazuya's world in order to start causing problems. So while chaos is being spread in Luca's world, Abaddon is doing the same thing. But it's possible maybe Abaddon has grown out of Black Alice's control and while Black Alice could be able to do literally whatever, she could still have limits, but Abaddon is like, has like a ceaseless hunger. It, it's sort of like, uh, like Cho'Gath in League of Legends. Let's think about that, like Cho'Gath. Cho'Gath will eat and eat and eat and grow larger, but Cho'Gath will never be full. No matter how much Cho'Gath eats, even after everything is gone, Cho'Gath would still be hungry. Abaddon is more or less in the same situation. Abaddon will continue to feed on every living world, but I honestly doubt that it'll have a cease. It'll uh, its hunger will be sated. Alice could probably know this. But she may not, she either may not want to do anything about it, or maybe she can't do anything about it. Abaddon would have been created by her, but Abaddon's gone too far out of her control to even do anything. And it can eventually come a time where Abaddon will want to devour her as well, just like she devoured Ilias the one time. And then it'll become the goddess of chaos in the first place. That's honestly just the theory, and also this is a collab, so... I mean, it seems to have some weight, like, uh, like some canonical weight held to it with the actual story, but... I'm not gonna, like, go, like, go too far with it. It's just a, it's just a thought, but... I don't know, it just seems like it makes sense to me, considering the way Alice reacted to Abaddon's feeding. It's the same thing as the erosion that caught that happens because of chaos being present in the world but i can think about that another time 
Next time on Drift EX4, we're going to continue onward. And hopefully see if we can be able to find the, the other guest. <sighs> no, on second thought, I'm not going to end it now. Not yet. I've been gone for a whole I've been gone for a whole month and I'm getting too invested to just straight up stop now. I'll keep going until the power power battery the power in my laptop battery dies cuz I want to see more. I want to know everything like some more that what's going on. Hey, are you ready? Truth is before we leave there are some details you need to know. It's critical that you understand how fighting alongside Luca and the others will work. Please ask any questions you have. Yeah, here we go. The most important bit for you all to fight together is your bond. Luca, Alice, have you noticed any changes since stepping into that haze? Particularly in how you fight? Now that I think about it, my body feels a bit heavy. Like I can't use my power that well. My magic felt off too. The technique should have been perfect, but it felt like the magic had a different nature. Yep, as to be expected. Unlike our world, over here there's practically none of the ambient magic particles you call mana. Magic goes without saying, but martial arts or, and anything that uses mana as support is strongly limited over here. What was once a blaze might now fail to light a match. So the demons here summon the magic they need directly from hell instead, but I don't have the time to teach you how that works. So I'm using a connection between you and Kazuya from when I went to my room and converting that into usable power for you. That way Luca and Alice can use magic as normal. Oh, uh, that's not confusing at all. The conversion process limits the output a bit, but from what I saw earlier, combat shouldn't be an issue. Whew. Go wild. So that's why she showed up in front of the door at the start. Okay. Get this for a game over. Game over. Enemies put you in checkmate, basically if you lose your connection. It's over. Yami-chan and Luka are connected to you through me. I'm dragging together existences which should normally never meet using my room's connection. So if my room becomes unstable, say by you losing yourself to pleasure, the connection I'm maintaining will break. And if it breaks, all the guests, even those like Yami-chan, will lose their ability to hold form here. Everyone will be forcibly sent back to their worlds. So, well, the lose condition is same as always. If you get infatuated or have a ejaculation, you'll become their food. So, <laughs> if I die, we all die. But aren't there several white rabbits? If the connection breaks, couldn't you repair it? I can't, actually. I can't mess with my home world as white rabbit right now, though I can't really say why. Right now, I have no link to the white rabbit of that world. Simply put, I'm isolated here, right now. I can't bring in another body or even go back home. So the me before you are all, is all you get. But I can I can take some distance without a problem. But if this body is destroyed, that's the end too. What a pain. Not just Kazuya, we have to protect you too? Nah, I can't put you through that. I don't fight in combat and I have other stuff to do. Well, basically, I'll be going about as usual. You two and Yami-chan focus on protecting Kazuya Kun. Yeah, if Kazuya dies, we all die. Oh, oh man. <sighs> for the time being, our goal is to find the guest for Chester's tea party. You can save people along the way, but that is our main object objective. Counting this world, there are two guests left. We need to quickly bring them together and head to Chester's tea party. As I said earlier, it's likely Abaddon's assassins are waiting for us here too. Stay on guard as you explore. Our last transport wasn't clean either, so it's possible Abaddon's following us too. If these assassins already have our location, wouldn't Abaddon know too? What would a proper transportation have changed? To clarify, a proper transport would have used measures to stop Abaddon from interfering. It would be a pain if we face that spatial erosion attack every time, right? Looking at and eating a cake are completely different. Well, thanks to that, I didn't expect these assassins at all, though. Anyways, Abaddon can still t come to attack us. Let's hurry and find the guest of this world. Hey, All right, let's go. Really? I don't want to hear any complaints from you af about this afterwards. I'm fine. Oh, boy. 
Yeah, if I if if I die, we all die. Oh boy. Yeah, let's go. Seems noisy outside this room. Leave the room. Why? What's happening? Why is it noisy? Stop! I can't. What? Oh, a chimera. Repeat direction. Confirm. Good. Yeah. Oh boy. Cause you couldn't let students being attacked. Let's save them while we can. Stop this. Let the kid go. Demon track is detected. Chimera Beast? Why is one here? That kid came, he's still definitely alive. In that case, is that Chimera Beast not affected by the world fusion? What do you mean? Are you saying they're not one of Abaddon's assassins? They could have been brought here by one of the assassins like the Black Dogs were. That seems to be more likely. But don't let your guard down. This is a fully realized Chimera we're dealing with. She'll take any opening you give her. Adding targets to the list will be squeezed. Uh, jeez. Kazi Kuneda, come. Oh, boy. Uh, about. Oh, I can't use both. I gotta choose. Seems like it's better to use Yami from the looks of it. But she's also. Okay, you're weak to magic, but... Oh, there we go. Continue to action, impossible, temporary retreat. What? It just... What happened? Did it shut down? Here, are you alright? Oh. Oh, thank goodness. Seems he only fit came once or twice. He doesn't seem to be too weakened. His body's shaking like crazy, but it seems like she just barely stopped at taking his energy. His soul seems intact, so that's a relief. Well, uh, that's true. What the hell, what the hell is that standard? I can't just leave him here and hurry on. Let's carry him to that earlier classroom and shelter him there. It's true, Abaddon's assassins are probably lying in wait somewhere around here as well. If we assume Abaddon is using connections to summon assassins the same way I am, then he shouldn't have that many. But if they're beasts brought along by the assassins like those black dogs, things are a bit different. Under the right conditions, any assassin could summon countless allies. Plus, what we just saw we saw just before was a superior type of chimera, called a chimera beast. And if that's the case... Hey, White Rabbit, what are you muttering about? No! Oh, seems I was right. I didn't think the these were the over just with just one. 
But with this, I'm certain. These Chimera Bees were deliberately summoned by an assassin. They didn't wander in by chance. Having been called to this world, defeating them should forcibly send them back to their own world like these, uh, like with normal demons. Oh, but these numbers are rough. Three targets confirmed. One detected. Uh, boy. Remaining to our priority neutralization targets engaging. Kazuya couldn't, they're coming. Stay on guard. Damn. Oh, we have a helpless civilian to protect, too. What the? Oh. Hello. Jeez, where are these things, all these things coming from? <laughs> what appeared suddenly in front of us was a middle school girl. A rather tall one at that, and... No, I shouldn't say anything. I shouldn't say anything. Even beyond beyond that dangerous looking magical tools on her arms and legs, it felt as if her whole body was overflowing with a fighting spirit. However, what surprised me most was <gasps> Whoa, what? She looks Hold on. Ain't that the cultist lady or whatever that created the brother or something? Hey, it's Mizuki chan. Hey, how have you been? Yami-chan, why are you here? Is the shrine okay? Well, a lot happened, so I'm out for the moment. How about you? Are you doing that studying? It's amazing how you go around beating up demons like that. It's my first time being inside a school like this, but these wide hallways seem great to run around in. Uh, I mean, I did talk about running around in here, but that's not what I meant. Oh, you two know each other? It was a rather flashy entrance, too. You had all that ice magic. They seem to be from different worlds. But they should get along fine, so I won't bring it up. Mizuki. These guys have non-humans mixed in. Can I fight them? Wait, is her... Are those our boots? Only bro attacking. Unfair. I can attack, too. Mizuki, use me. Quickly. Yeah, her equipment is talking. Are you serious? Orthrus. Her leg guard just talked. Yeah, don't pay him any mind. He always acts like this after all. You get used to it. We are demons who forged a contract with Mizuki. We became her tools of our own will to protect her with our lives. I am called Cerberus. The one on her legs is my younger brother, Orthrus. I ask that you forgive his rough temperament. Okay, so we've apparently met the uh, all three hierarchies of the Hellhounds. Uh, thank you for the polite words. On another note, keep an eye out, Mizuki. I feel an incredible evil presence nearby. They're likely the cause of this disturbance. I noticed that too. My summoning device has been blaring a warning for a while as well. Oh. Beelzebub. It's one of the Beelzebubs. Hold it right there, I won't let you get away. Hey, wait, we haven't finished. She left. This is Mizuki-chan. She'll be fine. She even once went into the demon world and beat up a demon lord there to save the world. We all saw her pulverize those chimera beasts earlier. It's not about whether she'll be safe. From what I heard, she is Taoka Takauka Mizuki, a powerful demon devil summoner who can summon demons from her smartphone. And though she doesn't look it, she's a third year in middle school. Middle school? Um... Put another way, she's 15 or so? Anyway, she's really young. As for how powerful she is, well, you got to see evidence of that earlier. Like Yami-chan says, she's even able to control mythic level demons. <sighs> the whore frost fists of Cerberus and the crimson lotus legs of Orthrus are her primary servants. Hoarfrost. Wait, didn't that get nerfed in one of the patches in Eldering? <laughs> It's not every day you get to see li living magical tools like this. Oh, and I forgot to mention this. She's our guest. She's our guest here. So maybe we should hurry up and follow her? Oh, now you tell us. You should have spoken up sooner, you idiots. That earlier presence might have been employed by those assassins to separate her from us. Let's hurry and chase after her. She shouldn't have gotten too far. I... Kazuya couldn't go on ahead. I'll follow along after carrying his kids to the classroom. Make sure to stay safe.
What's wrong? That's an unusual face to make if you're just waiting for Yami-chan to come back. It's as if you're thinking about something else. You noticed, didn't you? You're probably thinking, she seems younger and acts differently, but I swear I've seen her before. That M.O.W. woman who threw, threw your and Reina's lives into disarray. As you guessed, they're the same person. That's her? I mentioned this with Yami-chan as well, but every guest has some degree of connection with you. Takauka Kauka Miyazu, Mizuki is no exception. But the Mizuki of this world is your ally. She's been working against M.O.W., fighting to destroy it like you are. It seems she has the ability to summon demons in any world, but her upbringing here was very different. I'd like you to set aside your discomfort and work with her until we defeat Abaddon. Or rather, if you don't, we don't stand a chance. I understand that without you telling me. The version in my world is one I need to defeat, but the Mizuki here is someone I need to fight side by side with. Well, as long as you understand. He understands, but it still bothers him. Sheesh. Come on, what the hell? I put all that effort into staying safe, and for what? You got to have all the fun without me. Plus, what with this new barrier, I can't even leave now. Damn it, I ran and missed my chance. You bastard, I hope you get caught again. <laughs> the turn to a mummy. <laughs> Uh, I was attacked by a demon, but someone saved me. That was Mizuki, right? There are still many demons wandering about beyond here. Be careful. This attack so vigorous to me so much, I really thought I was going to die there. Pass away like that. Shut up, man. Oh, boy. Okay. So they really are the same person. I know she's different and all, but I got to work alongside the woman that gave put Kazuya through so much shit. Uh, I wanted to keep on going, but I think now is actually a good time to stop. Oh boy, next time on Shrift EX4, we're going to have to go through this and deal with the Chimeras. Oh boy. We're in, from what I can tell, one of the Beelzebubs. Not looking forward to that. See you guys then.